Thank you so much for staying with us here on the Sports Max Zone. Well, at the end of March, hundreds of the Caribbean's best young athletes will assemble in Grenada for the 51st staging of the Carifta Games. With the first meet being less than a month away, the athletes are going through trials in their respective countries. Post Grenada, as well as St. Kitts and Nevis and Trinidad and Tobago, joined reigning champions Jamaica in holding their trials at the weekend. Gerard Morisili was in Kingston where he witnessed some impressive sprint performances. The National Stadium in Kingston was the venue for Jamaica's three-day Carifta trials which ended on Sunday. All eyes were on the sprint events as fans got a glimpse of what to expect at Boys and Girls Champs later this month. Latrice East from Wilmers dominated the under-17 girls category, winning the 100-200 meter double with times of 11.62 and 23.86 seconds respectively. Edwin Allen's standout Tiana Lee Terlong beat Sabrina Dockery for the top spot in the under-20 girls 100 meters, stopping the clock at 11.25 seconds, which makes her the sixth fastest ever Jamaican at the under-18 level. Dockery, who was second in 11.49, was again beaten in the under-20 girls 200 meters. In quite likely the performance of the weekend, Shanoya Douglas of Mouchette High raced to a superb 22.85 seconds. A positive 2.1 meters per second win denying the 2023 Carifta Under-17 finalist a personal best. Kingston College's Nyron Wade, who produced a personal best 10.46 in qualifying, took the Under-17 boys 100 meters in 10.49, turning the table on corporate area champion at Celsius and Malik Nugent, who produced a PD 10.52 per second. And in the absence of 2022 Carifta champion DeAndre Daly, Javor Dunkley, the former Stets athlete, now at Elite Performance Track Club, spent a 10.32 seconds to win the event. Dunkley, last year's Carifta under 2200 meter silver medalist, did a compete in a half lap event, which was won by Gary Card of Rumors in a fast personal best of 20.79, ahead of Johan Romaldo Smith of a Mouchette, who clocked 21.19. The game plan was just to execute. I focused on that mostly. I feel like I executed the race well and I ran fast. The trials climaxed with the sprint hurdles after a sharp shower in the country's capital. But that didn't stop the excitement. The girls were first out the blocks with the 100 meter hurdles. St. Jago's Malia Duncan took the under 17 division in 13.21 seconds before Habiba Harris topped the senior girls in 12.95 seconds, making her the sixth fastest Jamaican junior in the history of the event. Brianna Campbell of St. Diego was second in 13.14. St. Diego had the winner in the under-17 boys' category. Michael Dwyer winning the 110 meter hurdles in 13.85 ahead of Calabar's Robert Miller who stopped the clock at 14.10. And Shaquane Gordon also from Calabar, the 2023 Commonwealth Youth Champion, took the under-20 boys' event. Winning in 13.32 seconds to finish ahead of JC's Daniel Beckford who clocked 13.44. Jamaica is the most successful nation in the history of the Carifta Games and have topped the medal table for the last 37 stagings. You can catch the 51st edition of the Carifta Games March 30 to April 1st live on Sportsmax and on the Sportsmax app. All right, we're here at Sportsmax getting ready, Ricardo, for Carifta Games to be held in Grenada. And live action will be coming to you on Sportsmax and, of course, on our Sportsmax app. So Natrice East, one of the standout performers from the weekend, Ricardo? Yeah, for sure, without a doubt. Although for me, I think the performance of the weekend came from Shanoya Douglas of Machette, 2285. Positive 2.1 meters per second in the under 20 girls, 200 meters. But that is sensational. Only a handful of Jamaican high schoolers have gone below 23 seconds for 200 meters. Of course, one will remember the likes of Anisha McLaughlin, um, Veronica Campbell Brown went sub 23 as well. In more recent, well, you had Simone Facey, and then in more recent times, Kevona Davis um, went sub 23. Um, so 
a lot of quality to run 2285. This is a young lady, Lance and Mariah, who got to the Carifta on the 17 final last year, but was, I think, fifth in the final. And she has turned it around brilliantly this season. She looks like a significantly improved athlete. And to blow Dockery away, Dockery was a favorite for the under 17 title last year. She full started in the final. Absolutely blew Dockery away in this 200 meters. This was a sensational performance. And uh, yeah, it, 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 I, I can't wait to see what she delivers first at the Boys and Girls Championships and then at the Carifta Games later this year. But this one looks like quite a find for 2024. Yeah, a lot of quality to pick from at the Jamaica Trials, Lance. Yeah, well, that's, that's normal, isn't it? Um, the Jamaicans haven't been... Is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> the, the Jamaicans are phenomenal in, in yeah, Curve to sure. Games. No yeah. team has stopped the medal table at the Curve to Games outside of Jamaica since 1984, the Bahamas. So we are accustomed to seeing Jamaica, uh, Jamaican athletes put down these kinds of performances. And, um, you know, it, it's, I cannot see in the near future any, any team toppling them. They just have, like, a proliferation of talent. It's yeah. like a, a factory just producing winners of 15 16 17 year olds yeah a lot of quality for sure well what about trinidad and tobago they announced their team for the easter weekend event here's a look at the full team so in the girls we have kaya heisen anika bailey tanik vinson in the 100 meter high jump jenna thomas derlena roos in the 400 meters Zaria Pascal in the 400 meters, Peyton Winter in the shot put and the discus, Lashia Bigart in the high jump, and Laqueen Welch in the high jump. What about in the boys category? Cameron Powell in the 100 meters, Kadeen Herbert in 100 meters, Shane Kameho also in the 100 meters, Kadeem Chinapu will be doing the 100 and 200, Isaiah Alder the 1500, Jaden Alexander 1500 meters, Omari Brown, 110 meters hurdles and the long jump. And Tariq Vinson, the 110 meters hurdles, the long jump and the triple jump. So Ricardo, have you studied the Trini team just yet or? Yeah, they have some quality there, Trinidad and Tobago, and Waldron was probably the performer of the weekend. Tafari Waldron won the 5,000 meters at the Carifta Games last year, and he broke a 37-year-old Trinidad and Tobago um, national junior record by going under 15 minutes, which is, by Caribbean standards, breaking yeah. 15 minutes at 5,000 meters is quite special. Yes. And at least for now, I can't see anyone who is really going to threaten um, the defense of his title in Grenada this year. So that was a magnificent performance. I've also been extremely impressed with uh, Kadim Chinapo, who will run the under-17 sprint double, ran a wind-assisted 21.66 for 200, wind-assisted 10.58 for 100 meters. And I can't wait to see what he delivers at the Carifta Games. I would like to think he will be in significantly better form by the time um, he gets to Grenada at the end of the month. Jamaica put together two quality sprinters um, at, at the under-17 level, Nairo and Wade running 10.49 to win the Jamaica Carifta Trials, and Malik um, running 10.52 to finish in second position. But I like this Chinapa kid. Um, also, by the time they get to the Carifta Games, and we've seen this from time to time because the Jamaican athletes will have the Boys and Girls Championship from the 19th to the 23rd of March, and that will be a week before the Carifta Games. And if someone like Kadim can come into Carifta and he is fresh and there is no doubting the quality, then I think he could really strike an upset if you would want to look at it that way. But I was quite impressed with him and his performances at the Hayes de Crawford Stadium, and I can't wait for him to come up against the best of the Carifta region. I saw that under-17 Tyreek Vincent as well. He won the long jump, the triple jump, and the sprint hurdles. Um, well, he, has, he contested all three, so <laughs> yeah. the likelihood is that he will... Um, contest all three at the Carifta Games, so we'd have to look for him as well. Yeah. I think he has a sister who is a multiple Carifta medalist, mm -hmm. um, who is at the under-2011. No, I'm not sure if she's on the team. I should 
take a, a, a close look. There's a Tanique yeah. Vincent. I, yes, Tanique. Yes, Tanique Vincent. Yeah. She's she's I also multi-talented, high jump hurdles. Um, she's done the heptathlon at the Carifta Games to it to good effect as well, Lance. Yeah. I Sorry, think we put up the under-17 team just now. I didn't... Was there the under-17? You didn't see the, the yeah. U-12. Well, she is... It looks as if she's still U-17. Tanique yeah, Vincent, she's, she's right there. Okay. 100 and high jump. What a, a, a real talented one all round. By the way, <laughs> the St. Vincent and the Grenadines trials will be this weekend. So everybody in St. Vincent and the Grenadines go out and support the young ones for that event and then watch the Carifta Games right here on Sportsmax at the end of the month into... April 1. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to miss it. Great time.